When I saw Pal's films for the first time, his creative inventions struck me, and also the beautiful colors. I visited the library of the Film Museum in Amsterdam and studied the history and technology of the first cinema movies. In the 30s, color movies were rarely seen in cinemas. It was only in 1932 that the first three color film systems were introduced. Pal was one of the first to apply it in Europe. For a short period, he used the Gasper color system, but then he moved on to the Technicolor process developed by the American Hubert Kalmus. For feature films, a special Technicolor camera was developed with which each image was split up into the colors red, green and blue by means of a prism and color filters. This color information was recorded onto the three separate black and white films. Because animation movies are recorded frame by frame, Pal could use a standard black and white camera. But for each image, three frames had to be shot one after the other. First, a red filter was placed behind the lens to shoot the red information onto the first black and white frame. Then, a green filter for the green frame and finally, a blue filter for the blue frame. The next frame was then again the red frame of the next image. Producing the cinema copies was an uncommon process. You may compare it with color printing. To realize this printing process, first, a so-called matrix film was produced for each main color. This matrix film was covered by a gelatin layer which hardened at those places which were exposed during the exposure process. During the developing process, all the non-lit gelatin was washed away and a kind of stamp was created for each frame. In order to expose the matrix film, the original film which was shot in the camera was used. For example, to produce the blue matrix film, only the blue frames were exposed. The frames for red and green of the original film were skipped. Once the three matrix films were ready, they were placed in the printing machine. In this machine, the colors were printed with ink on the cinema film. The base material contained already the edges of the frames and the optical soundtrack in black and white by exposure. <laughs> 